Okay, we're going to uh, do part of the uh, tune-up here. I got my package from uh, Morgan Cartoon here on Monday. Came all the way from England. And you get this handy-dandy little uh, uh, container. Uh, you can get it without, but I, uh, they were having a special. I uh, got talked to Sean uh, Morgan over in England, and uh, they were having a special. So uh, I decided to get the little bag, and it's, uh, it's a pretty nice little bag. And uh, you got the cartoon setting up in here. And then you got a handy dandy little zipper along the side. It comes with a set of hoses, a set of plug adapters, the instructions. And it took me a while to dig around. Now I know it's in there somewhere. And a handy little clip that uh, fits over the handlebars. But the uh, trick thing on this is it's got little wings on the side that you push together and it comes apart. Stick it back together and it holds. Push the wings and it comes apart. Ah, ingenuity. So, one of the things we have to do with the cartoon is insert the balancer tubes which is a little clear plastic tube that comes in this bag and it's got a real tiny little hole in it. And since I only have a, the twin on the T-Max, I got the two tube set up as opposed to the four. It's like, well, could have got the four, but you know, use them as spares in case one of them broke or you got gummed up or whatever, but I thought, what the heck. Uh, I don't think I'll have any problems with that. It's not like I'm going to be doing it every day in a professional business. So, um, And you get a couple tubes. Uh, one was a little bit longer than the other one by about 10 millimeters, and they're supposed to be like one meter long, so I trim them down to length so that they'll fit. And then the handy dandy little booklet here on page, well, whatever it is, it gives you a little uh, uh, section at the top, which you can't see here. You got the clear plastic tube, which in the instructions is for a four uh, carb setup or four injector setup. Well, um, this one's a tube, so I got half the little tiny clear plastic with a little hole in it. And only two tubes, and then the adapters, which on the T-Max I won't need because uh, they have the slip-ons. But one of the things you have to do is make a cut in the black plastic tubes at 10 centimeters from the end, of one, or from one end. And that's going to be the side that goes to the engine. The long 90 millimeter or centimeter end goes off towards the uh, the gauge. So uh, I marked. I had a handy dandy little tape measure that I was able to mark off um, 10 centimeters or 100 millimeters. And so I've got a couple pieces of tape I wrapped around them with marks on them, so we know that they're equal distance. So now I will whack them off with my extremely dull exacto knife here. Okay, now that I got the two smaller tubes uh, cut and cleaned up, we'll go ahead and uh, cut the little guy here in half. I'll do it on top of a block of wood of, so I get a little better cut. I've read where you, uh, I might put them a little bit of an angle to help the insertion. Okay. Now, according to the book, they go in between right now. Between the long ones and the short ones, you stick these little guys in. I guess you probably should work them on at the same time so you can see how much you got going. You don't want to wind up with the tube all the way in one and nothing sticking out and then no way to get it back out again. So work them in evenly from both sides. It's in there now. I may put a piece of tape around the outside to keep them together. Some sh I don't know. What it's going to be in the engine. I don't want to get anything that's going to be a uh, uh, little burn up or whatever. Uh, I don't know how 
hard. Uh, they're pretty tight. I don't know if you should have put any, a little bit of glue in there or maybe some rubber cement. Maybe I'll do that later around in here. And then jam them together with some rubber cement in there. So we've done one, and let's do the other one. Also with the kit, you got these little adapters. Uh, you got 5 millimeter and 6 millimeter, and that means the threads on the end, and they've got uh, uh, little O rings, rubber O rings at the bottoms that on certain bikes you would unscrew these pipes and screw these in. They have a little uh, screwdriver attachment at one end that when the, uh, you want to be careful, you never screw them in, just hand tighten them in, and if they get warm or whatever, because of the expansion of the metal as opposed to the high heat plastic. Uh, you can use a, a screwdriver to pull them out after the engine's cooled down a little bit. But on the T-Max that we're dealing with here, we won't need these. So I'll put them back in the bag and um, do it later. I've added, drop this thing, I added a couple pieces of blue tape on the ends where I know the splits are. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull these off, Sean, so that I can go out and get some uh, heat shrink tubing, which I believe will hold the... Uh, uh, the temperatures of the engine and I'll cut these off and slide the heat shrink on in order to hold the pipes together or the tubes with the uh, damper tube inside of it. I think I called that correctly at first. It's called the damper tube. What I've been doing is putting the damper inside which limits the amount of vacuum that can be pulled through that small orifice which then will, as the pistons are going up and down, the little damper is only let so much through and so it's kind of like a uh, a restrictor as it's trying to go through it only goes through so much and then as it, the pistons trying to pull back it can only pull so much air back through so after it does a few strokes on the engines there's only so much air or vacuum pressure uh, that's going back and forth on the uh, the tubes up to lift the uh, stainless steel rods in the casing so uh, otherwise if there weren't in there they would be going up and down quite aggressively it's like on my We'll show you later on my Fluke uh, 88 meter, uh, there's a damping mode in there on the RPMs which lets it settle in so you don't have these high ups and downs. So uh, that's it. We'll, uh, we'll do this uh, the official hookup later and run it uh, when I get all the panels off, which is going to be the next thing I turn myself on, is pulling off all the panels around on both sides of the T-Max and the front prowling so I can get it.